Let's talk about something I've seen over and over again. You take a melatonin supplement for better sleep and instead you end up having wild dreams or even straight up nightmares. What's going on here? So let me explain why this happens and how exactly melatonin can mess with your dreams. First off, yes, people really do experience this kind of stuff. And if you had this happen to you, you're not alone. I've talked to lots of people about this and I've even felt it myself. You take melatonin thinking you will get better sleep and then you wake up sweating from a zombie apocalypse nightmare that was way too real. Now here's the thing, there isn't a super strong scientific consensus on why this happens. In fact, some studies don't even list nightmares as a side effect. But enough people report it that researchers do acknowledge it as a possible reaction, especially at higher doses or in lower doses in sensitive people. So it's not just in your head. The most common explanation is that melatonin increases REM sleep. REM stands for rapid eye movement, as you probably already know, and it's the stage of sleep where dreaming mostly happens. It's also a really important phase of sleep for memory, emotional processing, and brain detoxification. Now, melatonin doesn't create dreams, but it can make them more intense by lengthening or deepening your REM stage. So instead of just lightly passing through a dream, you might get stuck in a longer or more vivid one. Think of it like turning up the volume on your dreams. So if you were already a vivid dreamer, now those dreams might feel extra real. And if you're prone to anxiety or stress, that might spill over into more intense or more scary dreams that will then lead to nightmares. Again, this doesn't happen to everyone, but there is a lot of anecdotal evidence for this. So REM sleep is the most prevailing theory of what's going on here. But if you dig into the research even more, there is another biochemical pathway that might be activated. Melatonin has what's called a vitamin B6 sparing effect. What that means is that when you take melatonin from a supplement, your body doesn't have to make as much on its own. And the process of making melatonin from tryptophan all the way to serotonin, and then finally to melatonin, normally uses up vitamin B6. So by supplementing melatonin, you're essentially saving some vitamin B6 that would have otherwise been burned up. Now, B6 is a nutrient that's directly linked to dreams, especially dream recall and dream vividness. In fact, high doses of it have been shown in studies to lead some very bizarre or unusual dreams. This normally only happens in very high doses. For example, one study looked at people taking 240 milligrams of B6 before a bed. And while most reported better dream recall and more detailed dreams, some of the participants had more bizarre and emotionally intense dreams or even nightmares. So we know that vitamin B6 definitely affects how you dream. And what's interesting is that the people who take melatonin and then get weird dreams pretty much describe the same exact thing with people who take a lot of B6. So again, more intense dreams, more frequent dreams, and sometimes flat out nightmares. So this is where the vitamin B6 sparing theory comes in. Even though the amount of it that you will save by taking melatonin directly is very small, for sensitive people, it could still be enough to shift things. Especially if you already eat a lot of vitamin B6 or take a multivitamin or B complex maybe. In that case, you will already have a somewhat higher baseline and maybe your body's also very efficient at recycling it. So that little extra might just push you over the edge and intensify your dreams. For now, it's just a theory, but it's definitely something that makes a lot of sense. So keep it in mind. In terms of what to do about this, here are a few tips if melatonin messes with your dreams. First, of course, lower the dose. Many people take way more than they need. Even 0.5 to 1 milligram can sometimes be enough. You also want to avoid vitamin B6 supplements at night. And this, again, can include multivitamins and B complexes. Not just for the dream recall, but also because B vitamins in general are somewhat stimulating. And you can also try to cycle melatonin. So use it for a few days when you really need it, but not every night. Always keep in mind that melatonin is a hormone and not just a sleep supplement. Again, most people tolerate it well, but for those that don't, go with the tips that I just talked about or look for ways of naturally boosting your own melatonin production. I have a video on that that I will link in the description.